Jim Daly moved into his Kelver House and Kennels in Wisbeach in December 2013 and is enjoying his newfound independence. We've always had people that we're renting the kennels off of living on site, so for the first time we've got that security, that peace of mind, knowing that we're only 30 paces away from our kennel block and we can pop in there whenever we like and just see that the greyhounds are all happy and well. And Stephen Grant actually transformed the house for you as well. Yeah, they've invested a lot of money into this place. You know, not just the facilities for the greyhounds, which is, you know, a massive thing to them, but also to the property itself. They refurbished the kitchen, the bathroom, uh, they put new flooring down, new carpets down, redecorated. Uh, they've really invested in the, the property as much as they have the kennels. Was this place like a dream for you and how do you feel about it now? Oh, absolutely. We, we was trying to rent it off of Max who owned it before um, for, for a few years and we could never quite get a deal together. You know, I would, I would have just loved to have come in here and, and rented it. The fact that the boys have actually bought it and taken that pressure away in a sense is great because, you know, we can come here and, and do, do our job and, you know, the greyhounds are absolutely loving the environment they've got now and it couldn't have worked out better. So how many greyhounds have Stephen Grant got here now and then how many other greyhounds have you got? Uh, they've got quite a few greyhounds themselves, um, probably about seven or eight, and they've also got the, the greyhounds in the SMGH Racing Club, which is sponsored by Labrox. Uh, total, we, we've probably got around 60 greyhounds here. Some of those are puppies, uh, and most of them are race dogs. Tell us about the pups, because they're uh, laying out here in the sunshine looking absolutely gorgeous. How many litters do you try to breed a year? Yeah, they're having a good relaxing uh, session in the sun today. Uh, we've got two litters. Um, we do two litters a year. These, these are six-month-old. There's two litters in total. There's um, one litter by Express Destiny. She was a good open race bitch, won a race round um, Hove. Um, and her sire is a um, Sparta Maestro. And the other litter is um, Norfolk Canary. Um, and, and her sire, the sire of that litter is uh, Ace High Rumble. So they're six months old. We started schooling a few of them. Um, their instinct's good, so we're hoping for the best. Is it a side of the job that you like, breeding? Ah, oh, without a doubt. It's lovely to bring your, your own dogs through. And I've watched um, Nick Saber over the years. Uh, it's amazing how many champions he's produced himself without having to go over to Ireland and spend fortunes on buying them. So if I could in some way emulate that, I mean, we did a, in, in some ways emulate that with um, just as Nat winning the Puppy Derby. But to do it on a regular basis, that would be, a, you know, a great thing to do. So just tell us a bit about this, your dream kennels. You've got uh, pups, obviously, here. You've got how many gallops behind us? Uh, we've done six gallops, you can see, behind you. And... Um, they're, they're 120 metres long, five metres wide. Uh, we're going to get them resurfaced so that there's a nice sound surface um, during the summer months. It, it'll probably get a little bit too hard during the summer months here. And then behind us up there, you've got a derelict kind of schooling track that you're thinking of redeveloping. Yeah, the schooling track's been run down and um, it needs a lot of work, to be honest with you. It's completely overgrown. And needs all the weeds killing off, needs a lot of fence repairing and possibly a new hair system. But, you know, that's on the back burner for now. Um, our priority is getting the, the gallops resurfaced, some of the puppy pens uh, redesigned so we can keep more puppies in pairs rather than uh, big litters just to keep it nice and safe. And tell us about the actual kennel block itself. How much work have you done to that since you've been here? Yeah, it's had a lot of painting and, and decorating and some repair works. Um, and also we've put in a heating system as well. So in the winter months, it'll be nice and warm for the dogs. What are your hopes here now? What, what are you planning for the immediate future? This year, we'd like to finish in the top 20 on the Open Race League. Um, within two years, we'd like to be hitting the top 10. So, you know, we've st we still got a long way to go. We need uh, more owners, uh, a good class of dogs coming through all the time. We've got a great setup here. We're not, we're not overly expensive with our kennel fees. Um, we've got a great, you know, it's a great opportunity for owners to get involved with us as well. And then if you think slightly longer term, what are you looking to be achieving? Big competition wins, maybe the derby? Oh, without a doubt, yeah. We want to be a, a successful open race kennel. and We want to be involved in, in, in all the major competitions. 
It's been wonderful here today, and I think the thing that really shines through from you and your staff, you're really enjoying life, aren't you? Yeah, I love I love life. I've never been happier than since I've been here. You know, it's uh, I've got so much enjoyment just being around uh, the, the countryside and having peace of mind with the dogs just, you know, on, on my doorstep now. It's a lovely environment to work the dogs, um, and, and so I've never really been happier.